Russia is also suspected of causing disruption in other parts of Europe. Estonia's foreign ministry says it has summoned a Russian diplomat to protest jammed GPS signals. CNN reached out to the Russian foreign ministry about the accusation. So far, they have not responded. Air traffic disruption is a major concern. Finnair has suspending its routes from Helsinki to the city of Tartu, Estonia, because of GPS interference. I asked Finnair's vice president of flight operations about the issue. Juva Sinkanen says he won't speculate about who's responsible. We have had occasional GPS issues over the years. So that is something that we have been used to. But the number of events has uh, increased significantly from uh, 2022, so for about two years now. And uh, currently we see daily cases of uh, GPS interference on our flights. And uh, they are basically during the en route phases. Uh, we get pilot reports, so we are able to understand the areas where the interference mostly happens. And uh, basically, we have assessed uh, that the uh, interference doesn't cause any imminent uh, safety uh, issues, but it's more like a nuisance for, for our crews currently. Right. But this is happening now, you're saying, you got daily, right? Mm -hmm. So, yes, I mean, is. How, is that, what, how has that impacted then your operations in itself? Well, if I walk you through a little bit of uh, technical details, uh, when we are flying on the en route phase, the aircraft has a so-called performance-based navigation requirement, meaning that the aircraft has to obtain a certain level of navigation accuracy, and uh, it can be done with uh, several navigation sources, GPS being one. So if the GPS signal is not valid, the, the modern aircraft is able to detect it by itself and then reject it, so it doesn't use it for navigation purposes, and then it gives a signal or, or a message to the crews so that the crews are aware of the, uh, of the situation or the status of the aircraft. And is this impacting certain routes or where are you seeing this more prevalently? Uh, well, we have observed this interference mostly uh, within our route networks in, in the areas of uh, Baltics currently, uh, close to the Kaliningrad area, uh, Black Sea, Caspian Sea and also the eastern parts of the Mediterranean Sea. Just clarify this for us. In terms mm -hmm. of safety, flying to Finland is safe. Can you just clarify that? Yes. I can assure, assure you that flying is safe. Yeah. And uh, like mentioned, we have assessed that it is not a safety issue. It is a nuisance, basically. Uh, we have procedures that take into account this interference. Uh, our flight crews are well trained, so they are able to handle it. I wonder if Finnair understand what conversation Finnair is having with the Finnish government about who could be behind this. Uh, well, for us, we are not able to know where the interference comes from. And actually, we are not uh, uh, willing to speculate too much on, on the source of that. So we mainly focus on the implications on our side and, uh, and how our aircraft are able to be operated safely. Uh, with this interference. Also important for our viewers to know that the Estonian government uh, has summoned Russia's charge the affairs over the GPS signal interference and they said jamming the satellite navigation system by Russia has only increased over time sowing confusion and heavily affecting civil aviation. I mean this is coming from the Estonian uh, press mm -hmm. uh, foreign ministry yes. in particular. I mean is this how concerned critically you wrote is Finnair about the increased frequency of uh, of what you have of the GPS jamming here. Of course, everything or every act that tries to interfere with the commercial air traffic is to be condemned. Though, so that's that's where we stand. And uh, the Estonia part that you are referring to, uh, we have had a few flights to Tartu, Estonia, that were not able to conduct their approaches and landings because of the GPS jamming. And that's a bit of a different uh, case because for the instrument approaches that the aircraft performs, there are specific navigation aid requirements. And uh, with the current procedures in Tartu, uh, it is required to have a valid GPS signal. And uh, if we don't have it, then we are not able to perform the approach. So we make the safe choice and uh, proceed to our alternate airport.